Hey guys, it's Tony again with a really, really quick video. We have a breakthrough on the Heisman difficulty level. Once again, we have a breakthrough on the Heisman, on the Heisman difficulty level. I'm going to show you first half stats of my Northwestern Penn State game and play now. You can see the score, which is uh, pretty high for um, a first half game. Bear in mind, I do use uh, eight minute quarters. But with these, with this slider set, I might be able to bump it down to seven minutes. The play count won't be where I want it, but the score, um, and this is just based on one game, but actually a game and a half, almost two games with uh, two uh, separate teams. But we're showing a lot of promise. I'm going to explain why this is actually working. Um, you can see the stats here: score, first downs, total offense. Look at look at Penn State; they are killing us on offense. They are killing us. Um, a big issue with this game, and I readily admit this, and other people have mentioned this as well, um, there's a big issue with the offense being able to operate, um, I'm sorry, there's a big issue with the CPU being able to op operate their offense and generate uh, scores and points on an All-American level and, and, and below. A big reason for that is awareness. I explained in my previous video how powerful that rating and also that defensive slider is. It's it, it means everything in this game. The reason why it's so important to salvage this Heisman level difficulty is because the CPU gets a huge bonus and awareness on both sides of the ball, along with strength and other things and speed as well. But the main thing is their players play a lot smarter. And we see the evidence of that right here in, in these stats. And in just a few minutes, uh, or just a few seconds, I'm going to get to the um, the actual uh, sliders that I'm using. But you can see the passing yards. Yards, only two sacks. I was only sacked twice, and I sacked the um, CPU quarterback once. You see the rushing yards, which which I'm having a hard time getting a, getting anything generated on the ground, but the CPU is having a um, pretty easy time. Third down conversions. And you see, uh, if you notice, there's no turnovers in this game. In this game. And we're going to get into why in a second. Let's go ahead and get to the sliders real quick. Now, we're not going to worry about individual stats. Let's, let's get to the sliders and explain how we're getting to this point. Now, I'm actually going to have to drop the Q, uh, QB accuracy, and we're going to see why once I, once I switch over to the defense. As you can see, our human and CPU offensive sliders are similar to what we have on All-American, but just a bit different. For the CPU, you're going to want to you're going to want to drop that pass blocking and run blocking to make things fair. The CPU has a huge strength advantage and they have a, a, a big advantage in blocking and a tremendous advantage in block shedding on the Heisman difficulty. They also have a speed advantage on both sides of the ball. But once we flip to the defensive uh, sliders, we're going to see exactly how the CPU offense is having such a good time on offense and how they're able to be so successful on offense, uh, better, better said. So let's get to the defense. That's the human defense, and that's the CPU defense. I'm actually going to raise the CPU's tackle slider to 35 just for a bit more of a challenge, or you can do 40. But this is what I have, guys. Everything knocked down. Everything down to zero. And when I tell you the CPU is, is having a um, just, just having a field day, I'm having trouble stopping those guys. Very difficult time stopping them. I have the knockdowns down to zero. That's exactly why I'm going to knock this accuracy down to 40. Because the completion percentages are, are a bit too high, just a tad bit high. We're gonna knock down that, knock that down to 40, or we might be able to do 35, and then we'll get a chance to really see a difference between the um, elite quarterbacks and the and the scrubs. So I'm, uh, this is actually working out better than I thought. But having that running back ability slider, remember I told you in a previous video, this is an ability slider as well as as well as an awareness slider. Now with the CPU having such a huge advantage in speed. On Heisman, this at, uh, I'm sorry, this at 99 
for us and 99 for the CPU isn't it doesn't is it, it pretty much uh, matches up pretty well the speed still match up if I have a slower player on offense I'm going to get caught from behind with a faster player but we don't have situations where I have a 93 speed guy I'm getting caught by a 87 speed linebacker from behind all things being equal that's that's not happening with the slider set but the beautiful thing about this is the CPU offense is going crazy going off and I didn't record it in that video I'm actually going to record a separate video do maybe a uh, one quarter and upload to YouTube so you guys can see what's going on now if you're if you are an all-american player you may be better off doing something like that and maybe bumping up your knockdowns but I like this I like seeing the CPU have a good game and of course, Penn State is, is a tad bit better than Northwestern. I believe Penn State is a B plus team or a B team and Northwestern is a B minus team. So they have a better team. And also on Heisman, the CPU has a, a huge advantage. But if you notice, even though the CPU has a, a bit of a speed advantage on Heisman, our tackle sliders for the, the, our tackle sliders for the CPU and the human are very similar. So once again, that's helping a CPU offense a lot. And it's not leading to an excessive amount of missed tackles because like I said, on Heisman, everything is done better. The CPU tackles better and you're not gonna get a ton of um, missed tackles. So your stats are still gonna look great. It's very important to max out blocking for us because like I said, block shedding and blocking for the CPU on Heisman is, is out of this world. And knock this down to 25. All right, let's go to the pancake stats. I didn't, I didn't check those. Let's check those individual pancake stats and see how we're looking. All right. Those look a bit inflated. They look a bit inflated. I could actually knock down. Hmm. I can actually knock down um, the CPUs pass block and run block um, sliders if I wanted to, but we're going to keep them where they are for now. I love the way the game is playing, guys. Once again, this is a quick video. Heisman difficulty is salvageable. We are getting there, guys. Time in the lab, we are getting there. The key to everything, once again, let's go back to our sliders. The key to everything with this was making sure we put a huge gap between our running back ability and our tackle slider. This, when you have this too close to your running back ability slider on Heisman, the 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 um, the CPU just has too much of an advantage. You can't get anything going, and vice versa. The you want to help the CPU offense as much as possible because I readily admit that is an issue in this game with the CPU not being not being able to generate enough offense on the lower difficulty levels. But on Heisman, once you tune these sliders up a bit they can have a monster monster game and this is also going to allow me to drop the amount of time that i'm using in my actual quarters which will lead to shorter videos which is it's, it helps everybody it's very tough watching an hour-long video unless you play book gamer which i can watch all of his videos because he's so good at what he does but somebody like somebody like me just starting out i i can't make videos that long and expect people to stick around and watch so um big big Big, big gains on Heisman. Once And, and another thing I forgot to address is um, <clears throat> what we see in the pass block um, area of the game. Remember the running back ability slider not only affects your ball carriers on offense, it affects every player's speed on offense, whether they have the ball or not. And I'm going to show that in practice mode in, an, in another video where I'm going to take the running back slider all the way down to zero, and I'm going to run a bunch of counter plays, a bunch of counter plays, like five or ten in a row. And you're going to see that pulling guard not getting over in time. Even on 50, when this is at 50, they don't move quick enough a lot of times. And your running back beats the guard to the spot. That's not what you want in, in on, on counter plays. You bust this joker up to 99, those pulling guards are waiting for you literally I'm exaggerating, but they're waving, waving you up, trying to get you to 
go ahead and get behind them because they're waiting on you ready to go make a play downfield and go knock a hat off. So we're seeing a lot of games here, guys. I did not think this mode was this difficulty level was salvageable. But the key is your awareness. You need to have that under control. The CPU has a huge advantage in that area. So don't be ashamed to knock that down to zero. If if you're if you're a high level Heisman player, let's do 25. You know, like I said, we have a lot of leeway here. But what we're trying to do mainly is open up the CPU's offense. And we've done that. And the the best part about this is what a, it's, it's just as important as open up opening up the CPU's offense is we found a way to mitigate the, the sack and jump to snap issue because the offense is a lot less explosive compared to our, I'm sorry, the the defense is a lot less explosive compared to our offense. Now, we don't have an, an unfair advantage, so to speak, but our linemen can get to those spots quicker when we have CPU tackling at 40 and our running back ability slider at 99. You guys, are you guys following me? I hope, I really hope you're following me here. But things fall apart when you do something like this and you do something like that. 50 and, um, and 50 on Heisman. The CPU just has too much of an advantage. And then when you, when you pile on jump the snap with the, um, with the boost that the CPU gets, it, it, the game doesn't work. But when we do this, boom, and we do this, now we're getting somewhere. Because there's a large enough gap for linemen to, to catch up to those defensive ends and, and, and block them and get in position. So I'm going to show and prove. I, I'm, I'm talking a lot, but I'm going to record a video and just play a quarter with high, this Heisman slider set. I'm probably going to do CPU instead of 30 where I had it. I'm probably going to do before between 35 and 40. And definitely we're keeping a human tackle slider at 40. Everything else knocked down to zero. And when I tell you we're getting modern day college football, wide open football, it's beautiful. Stay tuned, guys. Talk to you soon. Later.